morning guys I'm gonna do a little demonstration of a product I showed on my last video but I wanted to go a bit more in depth with it it's a Tangier copy if you will burn that okay I'm gonna give it a proper look at now so we can get it just a absolutely fabulous product I'm gonna put the description down below again I think it was £14.99 don't quote me on that it might have been a little bit cheaper so we're gonna have a look at this now okay so this is where you get okay you get a stand you get the main fuel burner you get a simmer plate and you get a lid okay so that's you get oh and you get the bag as well you get a nice bag as well so the burner sits inside the stand there look okay I've got methylated spirits in there now you can use other sources okay sources of fuel you can use bioethanol and with the bioethanol okay it's just a cleaner a cleaner burn there's not so much um, scent there's not much scent with the methylated spirits but there's a cleaner burn okay bioethanol and as I said in my previous video, you can water down methylated spirits 10%, okay? Just work it out, you know, for the size um, size bottle you've got, okay? So I'm going to light it today, guys. I'm going to use a windproof match, okay? Just leave our catch right so when you light your method of spirits give it a minute or so to take good catch okay take good hold you know something worth pointing out guys it's hard to see if it's lit or not that's definitely lit now okay so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna make a brew up i'm gonna time it see how long it takes i've got eight ounces of fluid water fluid ounces of water I'm gonna put it on the burner, okay? See how long I'll take now. I'll set my timer on the phone now. So we're at four minutes now, guys. We're not far off, it's already started to steam, okay? So I'm guessing around about six minutes mark. But as you can see, I am got no lid on top. If I were to put a lid on top, say it was a mess tin or something now, right? It'd be uh it'd be less time again. Something to point out as well with this lid here right on my previous video I used this to douse to smother the flame but what I didn't realize was there's a rubber seal inside so don't use that to smother the flame use the burner plate the simmer plate look so just use the simmer plate rather than use the lid because of the rubber seal you don't want that burn anyway Miss Lily look good girl in the bib good girl in the bib guys it took just under six minutes to get a boil okay a rolling boil and a coffee so when you want it out there guys use a simmer plate it's got a handle on it just smother the flame look Again, rather than use that, which I did on my last video, because there's a rubber seal there, and that's a screw cap top, okay? So, so all you do is use the simmer plate. Yeah, it's out now, right? What I do then, guys, I've got a freezer bag, okay? After it's cooled down, after I've drunk my brew, most prob, I'll also, for added security, security put in a freezer bag. And then it'll go back in my boot again. So, as I said, a cracking bit of kit. And what someone suggested to me on YouTube yesterday was brilliant idea. 
um, use it as a backup when you go fishing. So if your gas freezes during the winter, take one of those little stores with some ethylated spirits or bioethanol as a backup, see? It weighs nothing, it weighs grams. So that's a brilliant idea and that's something I'll definitely be doing. I'm even gonna purchase another one just to keep in my fishing bag with a bottle of mess. So that's cooled down now. See the lid lock goes on air, okay? And what I do for added security, I put it in a freezer bag. That goes in there like that, then it goes in the bag that was provided, which is a nice little bag, I've got to be honest. As I say, it weighs absolutely nothing, guys. There it is. So that's me and Lily out, guys. So you want the next one?